All right, it was time to soundproof, or at least try to insulate a little bit the Humvee. And so I went with the Spectrum uh, second skin coating. It comes with this gun, plugs straight into the air compressor. It's got a little container for the product and a straw that goes with it. I chose the five gallon kit, which came as two, two and a half gallon buckets. You can kind of get an idea of how much reverb um, from the vehicle when I just tap my knuckles on it but uh, there's really no baseline. I didn't take any scientific measurements. I can just say that after doing this, plus foam, plus carpet, it's much, much better. It's much more of a dead thud and uh, doesn't, doesn't have that drum sound to it. So I used a funnel, the stuff kind of comes out like you see it, it's kind of sloppy. So um, it's not that messy. It's all uh, water soluble, so fairly easy to clean up. And uh, you'll load it up. You'll actually go through these containers pretty quick. The mistake I made is I started out with a small pancake compressor thinking that I could just, uh, you know, wait for it to reload. And about the time I was getting scared I was going to blow that compressor up, plus uh, getting tired of waiting for, uh, waiting for it to reload all the time. Literally, like, could cover about a square foot and then I didn't have to reload. Um, I ended up going and getting the gas compressor from the rental shop. So I recommend doing that right away and then you'll be really going fast and you can cover some ground. Spraying this stuff is by far the way to go. Um, after I blew up my compressor, I tried rolling it for a while and it was a pain in the ass. It made it hard to get all the gaps. It didn't give me as good of a build vertically of the product. Um, it made me miss a bunch of spots. It, on top of that, it took a while. It was not quick. It was sloppy, um, all around a terrible way to do it. So um, go rent the big compressor and just go to town with the spray gun. You'll be a much more happy camper and you'll have a better product in the end. With the five gallon kit, I was able to cover everything pretty much twice. I covered the entire inside and the outside of the body, just not the bed. Um, I did also go underneath the vehicle and I just basically did a I didn't use alcohol and stuff to prep the surface, so we'll see how that holds up over time, but I did brush the dirt off and I took a lightly damp rag to make sure I got everything loose that I could. Um, but you can see it coats pretty well, even on the bottom of the vehicle, and it's been about three months since I did this. The adhesion looks very good. It absolutely looks like part of the surface, and hopefully it will continue to hold up.